Hello and welcome to another video. My name's Sam and today we're going to be checking out Winlands which has recently gone on to AppLab. Whilst this game has been around for a while on PlayStation VR and PC VR, Quest users now get to experience this swinging exploration game for themselves. And because the Quest is a wireless headset, that brings extra freedom of movement. I'll be checking it out on my Quest 2, so enough chit chat, let's jump into the game and check it out for ourselves. Game on. So here we are in Winlands. Now this game has obviously uh, different comfort options and locomotion controls. I've been playing around uh, a bit in this game already. I've only collected uh, three out of nine crystals so far in the first world. I'm assuming there are other worlds that you go to later or realms or locations. Um, but we're going to be starting a new slot so we can see it from the start. Now this has a range of difficulties. Easy allows it has little parkour and you can hook onto anything. Normal parkour sections uh, you can hook only onto the bushes and then hard parkour sections again hook onto bushes only. I'm not sure what the difference actually is between normal and hard. It might be due uh, down to the rope mechanics. We can check that out in a bit. So we're going to go normal. Comfort turning. Uh, no, I want smooth turning. Now, when I tested this previously, smooth turning, even on or off, did not work. It was always snap turning. So, be aware of that. Uh, I, this hasn't been patched since I last played it, so more than likely smooth turning still isn't working properly. Uh, comfort cage? No, don't need a comfort cage. So just be aware of that. A great civilization broke. Sacred crystals were discovered deep underground and brought into the light. And using their power, the people built wonders. Grand constructions were undertaken, and great titans created to defend the Sky City, the Windlands. Yet soon would come a time of chaos. A dark star from the heavens descended and ripped the world asunder. The cities and titans would fall and the crystals that powered the world scattered. Now a new guardian has risen, who will reunite the crystals, reawaken the titans, and return life to Windland. So, as you've guessed it, we are that guardian, I'm going to assume. Yes. Good. Yes. Come then. There is work to do. Succeed where others have failed. <laughs> oh, so I'm not your first choice then, am I? Uh, yeah, see, even though I've selected smooth turning, it's still snap turning. Um, so normally I'd, I'd actually, you know, turn myself around, but uh, for the sake of this video, I'm going to try and get on with snap turning. Hello. Hello. Big guardian dude. Now one of the things that I did find um, annoying, again this is just personal preference, um, the controls feel quite floaty. So if I if I sidestep to the left let go, it, I still continue a little bit. So it doesn't stop when you want it to stop. Same with jumping. Small jumps seem okay, but you can do uh, much larger jumps. You'll see what I mean. So, whoa, I completely overshot that one. I didn't even think I would. Controls take a bit of getting used to because of the, the floaty aspect of them. You've got to sort of interpret where and how long it's going to last for the floatiness. But you get used to it. It's not ideal. These are checkpoints. Don't even need to do that. I can just jump straight across whoa, into a bush. Uh, so not only does this game uh, involve swinging, it involves parkour. Ow. Okay, so we've got to get to the beam of light. Books, tools of a garden, 
With these you shall explore <laughs> this broken world. Yeah, the broken these world is this. Windland. Right. So at the moment I've got this. Uh, obviously I'm assuming on uh, normal difficulty. This is on easy hook mechanics. Where basically you shoot and it pulls you towards where you've hooked onto. And then you can pretend you're Doc Ock and pull yourself up. Bit of jumping as well. Ta-da! Oh, I nearly overshot that. Oh, no, not nearly. I did. So, obviously we're going at the moment from checkpoint to checkpoint to get up there. But, nice and open world. You can approach this however you want. But obviously this uh, initial section, it wants you to learn the basics of grappling and swinging. Which in these sections is pretty fun. Wait. Oh. Uh, where are we going now? We're going over the... Let's jump. So basically you have to pull yourself and get that momentum to get onto the other sections. You may be wondering who I am and where I am. Truly, I am no one. I know Make it. who we yes. are reside nowhere. The voice comes from within you, Gadi. Go. Fulfill your destiny. The voice comes from within me. Am I talking to myself then? So from what I know, this is like the main hub area. You gather crystals, which we're about to do here. Which open up other doors to other realms, if you will. A crystal. A crystal? Yes. Not all shall be so easily found. So we basically grab this crystal. And then we go towards the light. The power of these crystals shall open okay. portals to new lands. You shall find others lost among the ruins. And lo and behold, it will open up another gate for you to go through and collect more crystals. So, <clears throat> as far as I'm aware, there's one door there, there's a gateway there, there's a gateway there. Hence, the three crystals. Another three here, and another three here. So quite a lot to uh, explore and just have fun because there's no rush in this game you can take your time so we're gonna jump through here and check out the first realm world that uh, we need to explore and find other crystals and here we are now obviously it there is no real hand-holding in this game it's just for you to explore um, enjoy the atmosphere that it is. You can see uh, checkpoints in different locations, so those uh, blue beams of light and those yellow ones uh, are where crystals are. So there's one there, there's one up there, and there's one, if I remember correctly, over there. That's fine. Over, <laughs> over where is it? Up there. We're going to tackle this one first. Even though that one's the easiest, we're going to go for this one. Well, I find that, that one the easiest. So, there's no set route that you have to go. Obviously, I want to get over there to that checkpoint. So, this looks like a good route to go. He says, going in a completely different direction. I think that worked out well. Oh. Should be able to get onto those if I <laughs> jump. Tally ho! Made it. Ow. Good thing I'm a robot. Face planting into bushes. Uh, that sounds wrong, but you know what I mean. Ah, now those do stuff. 
That's as much as I know, they do something. Let's grab it, and it will hopefully tell us. These tablets scattered through the land contain knowledge. Take them to the hub temple. On the walls reside panels, waiting for the histories of the past to be retold. Okay, so they contain knowledge. So they too need to be returned to the hub. Right, let's see if we can grab this. What was that? That was an awful jump. What happened? I didn't even jump, did I? I just like slid and fell. There we go. The titans of this world awaken. Dumb. Stupid, perhaps. But sentient still, as you are. Did he just call me dumb and stupid? Them are long gone, yet they linger on and remember. Go. Much work remains. <laughs> I know he was talking about the Titans. <laughs> but he starts off going dumb, stupid. Blah blah blah. Just like you are. <laughs> Wait, what? You you calling me stupid? That's not nice. Crystal goes in. There it is. Okay, and it goes and opens up that portal. I'm curious. I want to see what's through there. I want to see if it's the same world as this big one. And like maybe just a shortcut somewhere. Oh, okay. So I was reading about this. This game also has time trial locations and runs. So I'm assuming these are the checkpoints. So you got to grab these as quickly as possible. So not only is there exploration to do, there's speed runs. If, if that's what you want to do. So let's give this a try. I'm going to be terrible, but we'll give it a try. Uh, when does it start? When you grab the first one? One way to find out. No, as soon as you jump. Okay, got one. Where's another one? There's one down there. That's cheeky. If I'd have known that, I'd have gone down there to start off with. Oh, that jump was terrible. I'll get it so I can swing over here. Whoa. Just grabbed on then. Okay, that's that one grabbed. Whew. Okay, one more. Which is... There. Down there. Come on, we can do this. <sighs> well, at least it's under... <laughs> it's under tent... Oh, I've got to get up there now. Oh my god. I was going to say, at least it's under 10 minutes. No. I've got. To... Oh no. That's not fair. Ah. Oh. Well, still managed to get it under 10 minutes. <laughs> uh, that can easily be done quicker. There are probably people watching this video now going, oh my god, 10. Took you nearly 10 minutes? That can be done in like 30 seconds. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. So now with my newfound skills <laughs> in speed running. Look at that, like a pro. <laughs> Definitely find it easier than I did uh, my first attempt at the game. Oh, hello. It's one of those games it does take a bit of getting used to. But once you do get used to it. Oh no, 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 no! Crapola! Ooh. Once you do get used to it. <laughs> he says nearly falling. Ta da! Right, let's take this crystal back to the hub. And see if we can work out where these uh, stone tablets go. Maybe they're. Not actually in the main central hub, but around 
here somewhere. We'll have a look. We'll have a little explore. If you guys know, and it's like you're shouting at me, going, it's obvious, it's just over there, please let me know down in the comments where these tablets are actually meant to go. And don't forget, if you are liking this video, give it a like. If you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button, that notification bell, so you get notified when I do other videos. All right, let's go check out this other portal, see where that takes us. He says walking in a different direction. I'm just curious as to where those tablets go. Hmm. Right, let's go through here. Ooh, so yeah. Those different main gates take you to different realms, it would seem. Different locations. And I'm assuming as you go through, they're going to get progressively harder. Because this looks harder than the last place, I'm not going to lie. I'm not even going to attempt that. I'm going to go back to the main starting location just to see if that is where these tablets go. So... <laughs> Thank you, but no. Don't think I'm quite there yet. Okay. If they are meant to be brought back here, that is really weird. But I don't think they are meant to be brought back here, because it said the hub, which is where we've been putting the crystals. If you're not meant to come back here, that gate should be shut down. So that is not... That is not where the hub... Uh, the um, tablets go so please guys in the comments let me know where those tablets are meant to go because uh, clearly i'm blind okay so we're back here now but what we're gonna do is we're gonna change over is it in comfort options no control layout no game options here we go we're gonna try advanced rope now what you've been seeing is when i've um, used the grapple it pulls me towards it. That's the easy rope. So if we put on advanced rope and apply that. Now, it does not. Because it's just literally a rope. So it's a rope now, not a grapple. So, let's give this a try. All right, let's jump on over here. Get a swing on. Yeah, definitely different swinging mechanics. Um, is there a way of like setting the length of a rope? Ah, right. So with the grip button, you can pull yourself up. Right, right. So it basically, the the advanced rope gives you more control over. When, it, when to pull yourself towards it. So let's see if we can put what we've just learned now to the test and fail miserably because that's probably what I'm going to do. It takes a bit of getting used to that. Whoa! Okay. Even though I'm grappling with my left Oh, that is weird. So even though I'm, I'm grappling with this one, I have to hold this grip to pull myself up. If I pull this grip, oh, does that make me go down? It does. Oh, okay, so this is up, this is down. Oh, that's gonna take some getting used to. <laughs> my, main, my brain is just scrambled, it's like, uh... Okay, at least with uh, this sort of swinging mechanic, you can actually swing, which is what I was missing with the easy mechanics. There we go. Right, it's time to make more sense now. There you go. Okay. It will take a while to get used to that, but once you do, that's actually quite um, good for swing mechanics. I don't know. I kind of feel that maybe on, on the 
I'd want the length, you know, going up or down to be on the uh, joysticks themselves, so pushing up or pushing down, but that's used for swinging. So, yeah, I guess, I guess, or one of the buttons, but then one of them's for respawning and the menu. It's fine. It is what it is. Like any game, it will take a bit of getting used to. But, uh, yeah, definitely now that I understand the uh, hard or advanced rope mechanics, I think I prefer it. Just takes a bit of getting used to. This last one here is more parkour related as opposed to uh, grappling because there's now less and less for me to grapple onto. But now that I'm using the uh, advanced rope mechanics, I might actually find it a bit easier. Oh no, oh no. He says falling. <laughs> Let's respawn. swing there. Couldn't do that before. Whoa. Too much of a jump. Right. So last time I wasn't actually able to get up here. But I mean, I don't know why I didn't see that bush before. There we go. Impressive, Guardian. Thank you. You are a credit to your maker. Well, I try. Okay. We did it. <laughs> We did it. We finally did it. I say we. I I did it. You you guys were just, you know, being lazy and watching. <laughs> okay, we've now got to get back down there. And like I said last time, the easiest way is to jump. See if we can get some good grapples on the way down. Like swing ourselves over there. Please, please, please work. That's a good one. Yep. There we go. See, this is this is this is fun going down. <laughs> going up is more of uh, more of the uh, actual puzzle part. Swing ourselves around there. That was that was good. If that was smooth turning, that'd be even better. Let's see if we can get a swing up to that tree. Yeah. Look at that. I'm becoming a pro now. Should we do those trials? No, 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 <laughs> no. We won't we won't push it. Right. Let's go put in this last crystal then. Where are you gonna go? Yep, yeah, you're going back over there. Okay, so that section will now be completely complete. And if you want to see what's through that portal, you're going to have to get this game for yourself and check it out. So guys, that is going to be it from me. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Again, if you have, hit that like button. If you want to be notified uh, when other videos go live on this channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and uh, yeah. Hope you guys have a good one. Let me know down in below, in the, down below even in the comments, what you thought of this video of this game. Have you played this? Do you have it on PlayStation VR? Do you already have it on Steam, on Vive? What would you have it on? If you're gonna get it on Quest, uh, yeah. So let me know down in the comments below, and I will catch you. Catch you all. I can speak honest. I, I can. <laughs> I'll catch you all in the next video. See ya.